Hey my friends, how are you? So this is the tank I'm going to build now, the Mini Art T54-1. It's a full interior with a really cool um, turret there. Uh, it's, it's, it's really nice, really nice tank, full interior. Well not full interior, it doesn't have the radiator, you can buy that separately. But it's got a really cool turret that they changed, it was their first idea on this model so this is the upgrade from the t54 1947 so i started by making the engine i haven't fully completed it yet but you can see they're very nice and i made a big mistake straight away but um really detailed there's a few more things i've got to put on the front there but not much more. It's got a really nice base there. Um, I've got to put the wires from the plugs to the to there. So there's all that wiring to do. And I've um, been studying up the engine a bit. There's a lot of more wires you can put around here. And I'll do that. But it's a really nice engine. But the mistake I made was this pan head here, I put on backwards. So this was sticking out too far this way. And that would have prevented me from installing the actual connection there, which is there, because it was sticking past the connection. So I've had to cut the back off it and, and rebuild it. Because that was, before, by the time I realized that I'd made the mistake, it was too late. It was just on like concrete. You can see that front part just fits in the front there nicely. And that I had to sort of put over the front unfortunate mistake I made but I have fixed it and it does look wonky and old but I, what can you do that was the best I could do at that time because this was fully stuck on it was very disappointing oh well I've done what I can to fix it so that's how that's coming along it's really nice I um, really am impressed with these because I did one earlier but not a full interior one now you see the first stage is building the the engine so I'm just up to this stage here and I've just got to put on these parts those four parts there and then that's done and then on um, this part here and then um, what we've got to do is put the wires on so a wire will go from there to there and there to there and all that kind of stuff so once that's done then we can start doing this uh, bottom chassis part here. It looks like it's going to be pretty fun. I'll try and do it pretty slowly um, Just really slowly step by step. So we'll get this done first And we'll get this painted up and looking really cool and then we'll start on the next step But um, we've got heaps of other cool things going on. So we've got a lot of Things just drying here. So we've got the tiger by dragon The mobile wagon by border and that's getting some rusting So this is sort of oils just drying, waiting for the next step. We've got a Mini Art Panzer IV, command version. ICM Panhard. Really nice, this one. I like this one a lot, this Panhard. I would like to do some more ICM kits, but they are very expensive. But I can sort of see why building this one. Very solid build, well, well engineered. It's got a full interior inside, um, it's got its engine, you can open up the engine bay. Those wheels are very nice, just a very nice tank, so that's coming along very well. Also started trying some new techniques with the flick technique, where you flick mud at your tank. So you can see here where the wheels will be flicking mud at. I was trying to get that going on. And on this side here, so I'll try and get some more. I was just sort of getting the initial dark mud zone. Also did in there. See how I got it flicked in? That's what I was sort of looking for. And then we can, um, you know, add some little bit extras around it with a brush. And um, also do the rest with oils. I've got some up on the, on the, see, right there. So where it all flicks up. Also did the panther. So this got a fair bit of it. I mean, it's a pretty good effect. 
if you do it well, when you do it right. And it's taken me a while to sort of perfect this method to get it sort of right. And it's all about using the right mix and all that kind of stuff. And I've worked out a mix to use that's really good, which is you know, a mixture of acrylic resins and uh, pigments. And that's the side I haven't done. You can see it sort of makes a difference. Is a, um, a realistic sort of splashy mud effect instead of just you know doing it with a brush so that's pretty cool also the cannons coming along very nicely it does look very nice uh, I'm starting to like it a lot so I haven't done any of foil work on it yet I've got some really good effects on the front of the shield there so we've got starting to get some soot some rusting, initial rusting, so this will be finished up with oils. But yeah, she's starting to look good. Just sealed it up so we can give it a good surface for the oils now. And I used a lot of um, pastels this time. I started to get the pastel set out. I've got a big pastel set of all these different colors. And they do work pretty well. If you apply it with a sponge or a, or a brush. Very nice tank this one. This is one of my favourite as I've said. And I've put on really nice um, metal tracks. You get really nice natural sag. And they are so easy to work with and install. It was a real pleasure. And it gives a real nice weight to the tank as well. And we've gone with, uh, this is the only decal. You can see it's well worth painting on your decals if you can on your, your insignia. Because no matter how good the decal is, you can sort of see it's a decal. And Dragon do use cartograph, which is really good. Real disappointed how I lost that light. I still can't find it. Really disappointing. So that's how it's all coming along this Sunday. A very quiet Sunday, very cold. Elsie and I are just hanging out inside. That's a Panzer three. That's its buddy. Um, this is the other T54 I built. So this is the production, basically the production T54, the, the, the T54-3. So they've worked out the turret shape now and it didn't really much change from this I don't know what you call it uh, teardroppy sort of shape the T62 was very round oh I just knocked that off um, but this had a very more shape teardrop shape it's very strange Now it's good that this came off. I was wanting to take it off. It had a terrible connection. So what I'll do now is I'll drill that out and I'll put some metal in there and that'll go on with metal now, which I was gonna do anyway. So no biggie that it came off like that. Don't worry. And also these need to be replaced with um, metal as well. Uh, they, mini art have put horrible, very weak. The, these plastic and that's something with mini art like when they get really small these with these really small molds uh, Like rails and stuff. They're really bad dragon do well there. They make these things really well, but mini art don't so you know, I know it's it's difficult and stuff, but with mini art don't use their plastic things actually go the mile get the you know your um, your 0.5 mil or 0.3 mil wire out and actually make it and i'm going to do that because this is an earlier build i did so there's a lot of mistakes i've made that i've got to fix and that's one of them and also installing this with a more solid base much like your lights i think i'll do that from now on is always put a steel rod in there to keep them in better you know it might help but this definitely needs one it's just too wobbly because mini art plastic ain't the strongest. Well, the, the old stuff they used to use, so the stuff they use for all these ones, because this is an older mini art sort of kit. But yeah, this is the production one. 
the one they went with. So I'll have that. I'll have the first one. I mean, 1947, and this is the 1950 version. And then we've got the T-54B, which is, yeah, you're basically getting an upgraded gun and you're getting night fighting abilities. But there's not much difference from the, the number three apart from that. They're just really upgrading the gun. But this is a massive upgrade from the number one that we're building now. Like the engine and everything's different in this one. This is a, a, a vast upgrade. And there will be big differences. It'll be good when we can get it finished and you can see like the wood, that wooden pole there is on the side on the first one and there's heaps of differences. So, But yeah, the first one had a lot of shot traps, although it was nice and flat. It did have a lot of shot traps under there that they seem to have got rid of, you know, just by making it go straight down to the bottom. All right, my friends, it's been lovely talking to you about tanks. I like them. I like all kinds of vehicles. I like everything. I, I like to model everything. And, you know, I've got trams. I've got all kinds of stuff down there. So we'll be building all kinds of things. Um, yeah, and I'll speak to you again soon. All right, guys. See ya.